All right, hello and welcome to another advanced Blender game engine tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys today how to uh, make a cannon scene. Uh, well, more specifically, how to make the special effects such as this. As you can see, uh, my cannon fires a cannonball and the cannonball has some lighting attached to it and also the, uh, the sparks coming off the cannon and if I stop this and rotate around the cannon you can see that the sparks are three-dimensional and you can see them from all sides alright uh, so what we'll be doing is uh, first thing I need you to do is head over to my website uh, www.russimf.com and head over and click on the uh, blender or, I'm sorry the uh, textures and renders tab and download uh, you can download the uh, Let's see here, it's the Canon Blend. That's what you want to download. Also, you want to download Flash PNG, and you'll see why here shortly. But uh, download those two files, Canon Blend and Flash PNG. Also, you can download the uh, uh, Canon Finish Blend uh, when this is all done, if you still have questions, and you can see how I put everything together. Okay? All right, so uh, just head over there and download those files, and we'll get started. Okay, once you have the... Uh, Canon blend opened. As you can see, it's a very basic blend, just the cannon that I put together and uh, the ground. All right, and what we're going to do is first we're going to add our uh, our flash or our, our flash and uh, cannon firing effect. Okay, so go over here and uh, click on the second layer, and uh, doesn't really matter where you're at in the second layer uh, for this purpose. Uh, add a plane. Okay and split the area and open up the UV image editor. Okay, uh, once you have the UV image editor open, go ahead and unwrap the image and open the flash PNG that you downloaded off my webpage. Uh, once you have that uh, textured onto the plane, uh, we can go over here and add. Uh, if, you, if you don't notice already, I'm working in the GLSL, so you have to do this part or it's not going to work. If uh, you're not working in GSL, uh, GLSL, then uh, you won't have to do this part. Uh, go to uh, add a new texture, map to uh, map input UV, uh, and then go over here, image, and then load the flash PNG. And uh, as you'll notice, uh, once I can get it, uh, we gotta add a lighting as well. Uh, there we go, there it is. Okay, but as you can see, we have a, uh, a gray background. Okay, and that's not gonna work for what we need, so what I have to do is come over here into the editing tab, and click on texture face, hit add. And that's going to take the uh, alpha out of the picture, okay? But if you play it now, it's still going to have uh, highlighted alpha in the background. So what you have to do is go over here to the uh, object tab. I think it's the object. Uh, I'm sorry, I lied. Uh, back in editing. And, uh... Uh... I'm sorry, I know where it's at. It's in the uh, texturing texturing tab. You come in here and see where it says use alpha, uncheck that. And as you can see, now we have a uh, sparks. Uh, and to get rid of that glare, just go into uh, the shaders and take away specularity. And you can see now we just have the sparks, okay? So uh, what we wanna do next is that is okay, but that doesn't really work for what we want. I mean, it's only one-sided and it's flat, not very three-dimensional. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate and rotate. And duplicate and rotate. And just continue to do this the whole way around. Uh, you can grab all three of them at once and duplicate them. I suggest joining them together uh, as you go. It'll help you out in the long run. Uh, and just continue to do this around until you have uh, somewhat of a three-dimensional spark. It's going to look similar to this. This is what the end result for the whole thing, the whole way around you want it to look like. So uh, once you get that on one side, just uh, duplicate it and spin it on a z-axis to the other side, and you will have the whole thing. You should. All right, well, to save time, this is close enough for what I want, but uh, if you want it to look better, just continue to do edit it, okay? 
And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video to save time as well to uh, link all these together, but join all the uh, sides together into one. Okay, and as we continue here, you can see that I've linked all mine together. So I have one big flashing mess. <laughs> all right, uh, what you want to do is uh, take the lamp, scale it up, or not scale it up, but uh, bring it up on the uh, Z axis, okay? And uh, go ahead and add some power to it, add some energy, and uh, make it orange or yellow or something along those lines, all right? Now uh, parent the uh, lamp to your uh, flash mess over here. So click on the lamp first and then the, the flash and parent that up, okay? Uh, next thing you want to do is take just the planes, all these planes, right? And uh, add a sensor controller and actuator to them, right? And hit delay. Um, okay, and after you hit delay, uh, go ahead and uh, bring that up to just uh, like delay 12 or 20, somewhere in there. Uh, 60 is one second, so you want it to be really quick. And then uh, come over here and hit edit object, end object. And then uh, go to the editing tab, change OB to uh, flash. If you're wondering why I'm going so fast, it's because I'm running out of time. I only have 10 minutes to do this, so I want to try and get as much in as I can. All right, um, go ahead and place the uh, cursor right in front of the cannon, okay? Like right in front of it. And uh, add a empty right there. Now to the empty, what you want to do is add a sensor controller actuator and put in there a keyboard and then whatever key you want, I put spacebar, uh, link them all up, edit object, add object, flash. And then when you hit play and hit spacebar, you'll see that it adds your flash. Now it'll take some uh, messing around with to get it right in front of the camera the way you want it. but. Uh, as you can see, it works, okay? And it adds the lighting as well, and the lighting goes away with that because it's parented to it. Okay, next thing you want to do is make your cannonball. Uh, to make the cannonball, just, uh, it was real easy. All I did was make a circle. Uh, I painted it black. All right, uh, nothing too fancy. I put two lamps on it as also, though. Um, one of the lamps was a spot lamp. Uh, that's how I got that interesting uh, thing on the ground. Uh, the lighting effect on the ground is it flew away and then let's see make it like that and then parent both the lamps to the uh, cannonball here just like that and then for the cannonball you want to add a sensor controller actuator uh, you also want to make it a rigid body that's what's going to make it uh, react with the physics engine all right and then uh, just do a location and uh, if you want to make it move slow uh, not much more than one or two all right, and uh, then we come back over here, add another empty, and uh, add a sensor controller actuator, link them all up. And then when you hit, uh, I want, when you hit keyboard, spacebar, I want you to edit object, add object, and I want you to add my cannonball. So I'm gonna go back over here, name the cannonball, ball. There we go. And come back in here. Uh, go back to the sensor controller actuator, ball hit play okay and as you can see my ball goes flying out of out of here so we need to fix that all up so it'll work see which way the ball is going there we go it's not too bad starting out it's heading in the wrong direction but that's okay we can fix that but that's that's the general idea of it all. Uh, once you get that all figured out, then uh, it'll look pretty good. There you go. That should uh, pretty much be it right there. That's the uh, lighting effects and everything. It looks like I did it in my 10 minute time limit. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email uh, or go to the website and uh, download the full blend. All right. Thanks for watching.